Now, since Sunshine here, and today we're getting into the ColourPop and Sailor Moon collection, Moon Prism Power Makeup. We are ready for the Pretty Guardian collection. I'm so excited. So we're gonna get into a couple tutorials. I did this eye look with the collection. I'm also gonna show some up close eye look tutorials, and then I'll kind of talk about my thoughts and show the products up close at the end. So if you are not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe down below, and let's get into the uh, tutorial. For this look, I'm going to get into Moon Castle. I'm going to take my BH Pro Studio 18 brush. So with my big fluffy brush and swiper motions, I'm going to move back and forth in the crease brow bone area of my eye. And I'm going to continue in this outer corner building up Moon Castle. I'm going to bring it a little bit forward to the front of the brow bone up above the crease of my eye with the tip of my brush moving in swiper motions and I'll take more of Moon Castle and I'm gonna go ahead and move the shadow out in the outer corner so I'm just creating a diffusion sort of color for our purpley magenta shade it's not purple it's kind of pink purple um, <laughs> I don't know what to call it the next shade I'll be getting into is miracle romance and I'll be using a BH number no. seven blending brush so I'm going into the outer corner of my eye with this pretty 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 shade yeah, it's more of a fuchsia I, I don't even know I don't know I'm like it looks pink it looks purple I don't know the detailed colors like the names of the detailed colors of them. Ooh, I got something on my eye. So I'm moving in circular motions. It may look like I'm moving in swiper motions, but I'm not. I'm moving in like a circle, <laughs> um, but it's, it's kind of quick. Maybe it's not quick, but it is gentle. Always gentle. <laughs> With my big floppy brush, I pounced into the pan, but with this brush, I swirled into the pan. I don't know if that even matters, but that's what I did. So if you do end up following along with this tutorial, well, that's what I did. I'm gonna continue to add and build Miracle Romance on the outside of the eye. Makes me feel quite fancy. I'm going to build up onto the brow bone outer corner. I'm just continuing like moving in circular motions. Little circular motions, that's the thing I guess. I'm, I'm using very, very small circulars, tight circular motions and holding my brush like a fairy wand. So I'm adding even more of Miracle Romance. Really getting romantic here. <laughs> We're gonna have a miracle moment. Well, in, in a few steps from now. So no miracle moment yet. <laughs> But see, I'm just building it up and bringing it up further and further toward the outer corner of my eyebrow. And I'm just going to take some swiping motion and move my brush up like that, but very gently. I just wanna add some of the color right in there. I'm even pouncing a little bit. Whew, we got a wing. We got a fuchsia, magenta, whatever color that happens to be wing. I decided I wanted to actually just take my blending brush right in the center above my crease and then blend in swiper motions back and forth just to add it further in. The first shimmer we're gonna take is the beautiful shade Luna and I'm going to be using the same blending brush from BH Cosmetics. From there I'm gonna go ahead and take my NYX spray and spray my brush. I'm holding my brush parallel to the ground or horizontally and I'm gently swiping it this direction and then bringing it forward into the inner corner. And now we'll be getting right into this beautiful Super Shock Shadow Silver Millennium and the uh, ColourPop E19 blending brush. I'm swiping this in the inner corner of the eye and I'm just gonna use the very tip of this pencil blending brush to go in the crease above the crease area and come over to kind of like cut the crease. And I'm swiping right now in the uh, on the mobile lid part of my inner corner. And in the creases, I'm also swiping out. And I'm gonna turn my brush around and continue to swipe out with this side and edge of my brush. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is add Silver Millennium to the other side. And then for lashes, for this look, I'm going to be wearing the Lotus Lash Yarzabeth Lash Doll. And voila, a makeup miracle moment has occurred. So what I'm going to do is go right back into our palette to finish off this look. The rest of the tutorials will be up close. I will change my lens. And yeah, so this is just like a normal tutorial 
if you've never been on my channel then this is just a new experience um and it's just a new experience in general so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, get into the lower lash line so let's do that the lower lash line i'm going to use the shade moon castle all over so from the outer corner i'm just smudging back and forth moving all the way in and out all across the lower lash line I'll do that to the other side. With Silver Millennium and the Flat Shader Eyeshadow Brush ES5 from Profusion, I'm going to go into the lower lash line. I'm definitely holding my brush like a pencil and I'm painting this down and out in the inner corner. This is a super shock shadow, so it's nice to have a flat brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brighten up this look for us. So to complete this eye look, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara, and I'll tell you what lip I am wearing when we get into the lip part of this video. So at this point, what I'm going to do is get into a couple more tutorials, some really pretty bright and spring-like looks, so let's go ahead and get into it. Next, I'll be getting into Justice, and I will be using a BH number no. seven blending brush. I'm using the tip of the brush, and I'm moving in long swiper motions, and then short, quick swiper motions back and forth. In the outer corner, I'm gonna go ahead and blend Justice out a little bit, and I'll blend all across the lid. I'm gonna keep taking more and more and more of Justice, because I just want this yellow to stand out on the lid. So in long swiper motions and then short swiping motions. I'll be taking the ColourPop E19 pointed brush and I'm gonna take Full Moon. So what I'm gonna do is start kind of like on the crease in the center. I am gonna be adding a wing to this so I don't want to um, add it too low onto my eyelid. I'm just using swiping motions and I'm swiping in this direction. I kind of turn my brush around as well just because I've completely uh, submerge my brush into the shadow. I'm turning my brush now, like a I'm holding it like a pencil toward my face, and I'm going to move above the creases with the tip of this brush. Since I'm gonna be adding a winged liner here, I don't really wanna be adding too much shimmer on this lower part. Okay, so I'm just going back into, I think it's called Justice, the yellow matte shade with a few sparkles and I'm just going to diffuse it in the outer corner in swiping motion. I'm just gonna keep on adding justice until um, I feel like it's really built up. I think the lights are so bright in front of me that it kind of fades it out but in person it's like super vibrant and bright. I might have to like tone down the brightness in this video so that you can see. So I'm gonna be adding liner. This is the LA Girl Fine Line. Right now I'm just sliding this liner. Sometimes I press it, but this is such a fine tip that I'm just gonna slide it. I'm gonna make it thicker as I go out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and make the wing. So I'm making the wing and then I'm attaching it. And I'll fill it in. I'm gonna go ahead and curve it in the center a little bit to give it a little extra shape. I wanna go with a thicker black line for this. And voila, a makeup miracle moment in this look. So we have lashes on and get into the lower lash line with the shade Justice and the uh, Take Me Back to Brazil number five brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna go ahead and add it all over the lower lash line and then I will add some mascara. I'm using the LA Girl Volumatic Full On Volumizing Lash Lifting Mascara for the lower lashes. I'll just go ahead and place this on the lower lashes, and then we'll get into the next look. So I've taken love all over my entire fluffy brush, brush this all over the eye. So as I'm blending, I'm using the tip of my brush and the side of my brush, but mostly the tip, but I'm only swiping this way. Even if I'm moving fast, it's all gentle. So I'm gonna add more of love. I'm mostly blending it in the center and then outward to the outer corner. I'm gonna be getting into the shade Silver Crystal and the color Pop E19 brush. So I'm gonna really focus this just in the inner corner. I'm gonna kind of bring it up and then I'm gonna leave it there and we're gonna add another shimmer and bring it into that. With Mare Serenitatis and, I don't know if that's how you say it, but <laughs> with that shade and my finger, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the center of my eyelid and I'm pressing it onto my eye. I'm just taking as much as I feel is necessary and I'm tapping. I'm gonna take this into the inner 
a corner. So now I'm getting into the Glitterly Obsessed Glitter in Moonlight Legend. Tap some of this glitter onto the center of the lid. I'm just gonna tap it in circular motion, spread it down a little. Okay, so just tapping this all over. You can even take your finger and sort of press some extra if you want some extra. What I'll do now is pop on some lashes and I'll be using the Queenie Lashes. Bringing it back into the shade Love and I'm gonna use the Take Me Back to Brazil number five brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to go ahead and press this to my lower lash line. I'm gonna blend up very gently and then I'll add mascara to complete this look. I'm using the LA Girl Volumatic Full On Volumizing Lash Lifting Mascara for the lower lashes. Okie dokie, so this beautiful collection is the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon collection. And with that, we have the palette. So you can see the palette has this beautiful like holographic cover and it has the gift that we've seen for years of Sailor Moon um, with a heart eyes. And so we have a few different shades in here. Now the shades in this palette in my opinion are not super deep um, they look pretty light and uh, more pale you can do a yellow look you could do a peach look you could do a coral look you can do a pink look you could do a fuchsia e look so you can see the the shadows in the palette there are some really pretty mattes with um, shimmers in them which I really love I love the holographic moons on the inside of the palette I love the packaging I think the packaging for this whole collection is phenomenal, cute. I love Sailor Moon growing up. Um, I watched it again and I realized like I would I would not be into it today um, just because of the content of the show, but I really, really loved her as a little kid. So the Glitterly Obsessed Glitters, we have two of them. We have Moonlight Legend and Moon Prism Power, which is so awesome. Moonlight Legend is just a very pink sparkly glitter. And then Moon Prism Power is a beautiful purple purplish, um, purplish, bluish glitter with stars and moons. I absolutely adore the boxes. Well, the packaging. I adore the packaging. I love the design and the boxes for these particular glitters are so gorgeous. I love this collection. I love the boxes. I love the Sailor Moon on them. I love the holographic when you move on the metallic part. Yeah, so those are the Glitterly Obsessed Glitters. Um, I think that Moon Prism Power is a really cute one if you're interested in like stars and moons, like super, super cute. So here we have two blushes. And again, the box on the outside is the cutest. Luna is just so cute on the front cover of the box. We have Sailor Moon from the moon and then cat's eye. Today I'm wearing cat's eye on my cheeks. I absolutely love how they have these um, holographic where it switches to that first scene where Luna and um, Sailor Moon, I don't remember her her name name. She's a name besides Sailor Moon when she's just a regular teenage girl. That's what's happening right there, which is really cool. I really like that there's mirrors in these compacts. I love that the blush is surrounded by that gold holographic metallic look and I love the imprint of Luna on the blushes. So in this collection we have two lip bundles as you can see right here. I'll get close up into them. So today I actually have Sailor Moon Ultra Glossy Lip on top of my lips along with a lip liner from ColourPop. I think the Moonlight Lip Bundle is my favorite of the two. This is the Moonlight Bundle and then this is the Daylight Bundle. I like the packaging is different and unique for each one. And on the back, Luna is also in a different pose. I just think that's really cute, the details. So in the Moonlight Lip Bundle, we have an Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Sailor Moon, which I have on today. And then an Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Bunhead. I think this bundle's super pretty. I love the colors and then we have the daylight bundle and I love the colors for this I really love the ultra glossy lip color so that one is in moon tiara it's like her power usagi is the ultra blotted lip in this collection I absolutely love their glossy ultra glossy lips now the blotted lips for me I I'm not into like a blotted lip look I really like the colors they chose I love the packaging so yeah these are the two bundles I think this collection is so exciting and wonderful and cute and I love it I love the packaging I love the design I love what they've included I love the blushes the blushes are so beautiful I love the daylight 
Daylight and Moonlight lip bundles. I'm really excited to try them all. And um, the Glitterly Obsessed glitters, I love the tops, how they've designed it just specifically for this. And I really like the Moon Prism Power Glitterly Obsessed. I prefer that one over the other. And then there's the palette. Now the palette, the colors are bright and spring-like. So if you are into uh, new yellows, if you're into coral, um, fuchsia, I, I think that's the color. Is it magenta? Is it fuchsia or magenta? I don't, I don't know what's the difference. And they're light. So I feel like this, this would be great for light looks that seem to be kind of in right now. I feel like I've seen some more pastel looks. I don't know if these count as pastels. Like what are pastels? Is it like a faded color? Is that what pastel is? I should look it up. I don't know. Um, if you're into it, cool. If you're not, that's okay. Um, if you like are a collector of makeup and you love Sailor Moon, like this is like exciting altogether. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you did like this video. If you did like it, make sure to like it down below. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. If you are planning on getting this collection or anything stood out to you, specifically comment that down below let me know um did you watch sailor moon growing up i did i love this collection and the nostalgia it brings and that's it for today i will see you guys next time let me know if there is anything that you guys want to see you guys want to see um something different you want to see uh, more palette tutorials you want to see more full makeup uh, tutorials um let me know down below as well um because i'm kind of curious what you guys are interested in so I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye now.